Thank you for choosing VideoPad from NCH Software. This tutorial will show you how to edit your video clips into a movie you can be proud of, and is the first part of the two video tutorials which cover the basics of editing and adding effects and sound to your videos. Adding video clips, music, and photos is all done the same way. Just click the Add Media button on the top toolbar, then browse to the file you want to add, select it, and click Open. The file will be added to the media list in VideoPad. Think of the media list as the launching pad for all your original files. From here, you can drag and drop clips and audio to the video or audio tracks, or preview them in the Clip Preview window. From the Clip Preview window, you can add clips to the sequence by clicking the green down arrow. You may want to use only portions of your video clips. In order to cut a file down to size before adding it to the main sequence, you're going to set in and out points for the clip. To do this, select the clip from the Media List tab to make it appear in the selected clip preview window. Then, set the cursor to where the beginning of the clip should start and click the red flag to set the in point. Drag the cursor to where the clip should end and click the blue flag to set the out point. To add the adjusted clip to the sequence, click the green arrow. Setting in and out points is just one way to edit the length of a clip. You can also do it from the sequence by using the split tool. Splitting a clip is also the easiest way to keep separate portions of the same clip. First, you'll need to make sure the clip you want to edit is already on the sequence. Then, line up the cursor to where you want to make the cut and click the split button. This splits the clip into two sections. You can move the new sections around independently of each other or delete one completely. Split a clip as many times as you want. To speed up or slow down a clip, select the clip on the sequence by clicking it, then click on the Effects tab under the toolbar. Locate the Speed effect from the list and select it by clicking it. In the Speed Change options, adjust the speed with the slider. Anything below 100 will slow the clip down, anything above 100 will speed it up. You can also choose to play the clip backwards. Click Apply Changes to apply the speed setting to the clip. You can set transitions between clips on the sequence to segue between scenes. First, select the clip you will be transitioning out of, then click the Transitions tab below the toolbar. Select a transition type, and if desired, adjust the duration the transition should take place. Click Apply to add the transition, then use the Preview window to preview the transition. When you're more familiar with the types of transitions, you can use the Transition drop menu in the Video Track Options area left of the timeline to quickly select and apply transitions. Select None from this list to remove a transition between two clips. Select the clip you want to apply effects to by clicking it in the timeline, then click the Effects tab under the toolbar. When you click on an effect, the effect gets added to the Applied Effects list to the left of the listed effects. From here, you can adjust the effects options when they are available. A preview of the effect will display under the Effects list. For effects that change over the duration of the clip, click and hold your mouse cursor down as you slide the cursor over the Small Effect Preview window. To remove an effect you don't like, click the white X next to the effect in the Applied Effects list. Click the Apply Changes button to apply new effects to the clip. Note that when you add an effect to a clip, the effect is applied to the entire duration of that clip. This concludes the first part of this tutorial. Please watch the second tutorial for tips on working with text and audio and how to export your finished movie.